This channel is for adult collectors and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Real quick, I just wanted to talk to you about a movie that I got in today. Um, a film that I've liked for a long time, but every copy I've had has been murky and sort of shitty looking. This looks great. So, I'm talking about Scared to Death. And this is actually the uh, poster, the, um, the artwork that was on the uh, VHS copies I remember as a kid. Um, this is put out by Vinegar Syndrome. This is the slipcase it comes with. Really nice artwork. Um, you can reverse this artwork to look like that also. Um, so yeah, just real quick, it's a fun monster movie um, from the 80s. And out of, out of all the rip-offs or homages to Giger's Alien that came out, after the success of Alien, uh, the monster from Scared to Death, the Sinjinor, is probably the best looking uh, Giger ripoff creature. Um, he looks very Giger esque. Um, this is a nice Blu ray that they put out by Vinegar Syndrome. You get two discs with it, um, you get a, a really clear, um, bright, not murky copy of the film that Vinegar Syndrome um, scanned uh, and cleaned up. It looks great. Then you also get another disc that the director uh, cleaned up and um, released uh, through Vinegar Syndrome. It's more of a director's cut. It's uh, Some scenes are trimmed. There's new sound effects added to uh, certain things. It's more, it's tighter. Um, I still think I like the uh, original version, though, that um, Vinegar Syndrome put out. Either way, it doesn't matter because you get both the copies. You get both versions of it when you buy this. Um, yeah. So this is a fun one you should pick up. This is my out-of-print um, DVD that I've had for a long time. Uh, this is how I watched it for years, and yeah, just a bare bones DVD that's uh, out of print now. And um, yes, I know there was a uh, a sequel. It's not as good. Uh, they've got a lot more money. But, um, I don't know, uh, just because you throw a lot of money at something doesn't make it good. I still like the original, uh, the best. Um, good looking monster. And so I was going to show you guys, in conjunction with this, um, my, um, Billiken Vinyl Singenor. But, um, see, he's very Giger esque. So I had him um, in a box, you know, as you do, because you don't have room to display everything. And, uh, I guess there was some sort of reaction from the paint or the vinyl with the uh, bubble wrap I had him in. And so, um, let's see if you guys can see. See the paint coming off? I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there. See that big, ugly brown spot? Um, so I'm going to have to repaint him. Because he just looks like hell now. Um, yeah. I d it looks like shit now. <laughs> and I wouldn't have shown him, but, you know, 
I planned on pulling him out and showing it off along with the movie, and I did not know the shape that his paint was in. So I am going to have to repaint this guy. Actually, when I get done making this video, I'm going to get out the paints and get to it. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, could be worse. The model could have melted or something. But, uh, yeah, that's the Singenor. He's a really cool, Giger-esque inspired monster. Fun, fun little monster movie. Um, good times. You guys should pick this up. I don't know how many copies Vinegar Syndrome made, but probably not a lot. Um, you should pick it up if you can. I don't know if they're sold out, but you guys should look into it. And, um, I will do another video later after I, I repaint this model and I, I'll show them off to you guys like a before and after sort of thing. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.